Hola amigos, once again, back to Country Boys at War. Um, as you all know, we have started the 1890 campaign. Um, and we will, you know, start. Right, <clears throat> I kind of forgot where we, uh, so we're Germany. Uh, okay. Right, so our allies are Russia. And... Uh, Denmark is one of our puppets. Okay, so we can either go for Sweden or Norway, or we can go for one of the European countries. It's up to me, basically. Uh, hmm. We could go for. Oh no, that's. Oh, Denmark has Iceland. That's fucking why. That's why I think that. Oh yeah. Denmark. No, it's because he has. Because he has this. It's Iceland. Hold on, is... Greenland is the big one, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's Iceland. That's Iceland. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Let me go to Sweden real quick. Common allies. Let me go to the Russian Empire. Does the Russian Empire have him as an enemy? No, it doesn't seem like he. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go to the war with Sweden then. will help me. Right. Bitch. Right, let's do this. Let's go. Okay, so you're telling me... Oh yeah, I forgot. Diseased. Oh! So they have a random chance of dying on the battlefield. Is it because I accidentally bought them from like... I did! Oh my god! I did! I bought them from this... So that's what it means. Okay, so if I get a veteran... It costs more, but they have a lot of... Experience, so that means they're better. And then attacker, I'm guessing they do, yeah. So I basically have a random chance of them dying on the battlefield for no reason. Because they're diseased. Okay, that's nice to know. So I just have a random chance. Right there, okay. Well then, that's gonna be difficult. I don't think it's random chance, I think they just die each turn. Ah. Nice. Really appreciate it. I'm guessing they're just gonna die every time, man. Right, okay. So, it seems that I need to, uh... Right, how much do I need? I need 1,950 to get that. 2,400 for that. Um, Sleep, okay.
Okay. You don't want me to go. Now, screw those fuckers. Oh, you bastard. You know one thing I don't understand is how the fuck people have a Luger. Right, I get it, you know, shipments and stuff, but still, it's the fucking Luger for fuck's sake. Right, let's start from there. To be honest, I did make a first YouTube video, like a first video at first, the first YouTube channel before this. Um, uh, that's what my dad called me as a nickname for my PlayStation. Right? I'm not telling you the name because I'm pretty sure you already know it for God knows reason. Right? Fucking, you know. Just you uh he named my PlayStation Fonzie something, right? I'm not telling you the last few parts of it, just Fonzie, right? And I named it after inspiration of it because I never changed it. Right at first I was angry at him because I I wanted to Right, because that was the only thing that I needed to do. That's the only thing I was excited for. Right. Then, every time I considered, every time I considered changing my name to something change anything when my dad tampered with it because I 
care about what my dad thinks. Or what my dad does. Right, because... It just seems like... It just seems like the nice thing to do. That's... Because all I do is... Care for my dad. And get me Fucking love them, hug them, do whatever you can to appreciate them. Because you don't know how long you might have left. You don't know how long left of them cherishing you as some sort of. I don't know how long they might have left. You just, you just don't know. Better not to find out. See, if I go to the garage, find out when your parents are going to die, when, or find out how they're going to die. Right? I'll choose when they're going to die. Usually. Because when I know when they're going to die, I know how much I can pay for them before they're gone. And since they won't leave me, if they keep me, I'm going to tell them that. die on this day so what's the point right and people might say you know they want to know how their parents are going to die and to be honest I never know I don't want to know how a person want, uh, dies because to be honest with you if they say oh yeah they die from suicide or whatever else it's terrifying it really is so just cherish them as much as you can Sorry, got a bit deep there, didn't it? Um, am I? Jesus Christ. Okay. Um,
this on to the uh, thingy because it's like a night, and, uh, you know. <laughs> so at night when I'm recording this show, campaign, I won't be able to do a second one. I am sorry for those who think I'm going to do a second one. Unfortunately, I am not. Might not be talking much because I am like tired, tired. So I might not be talking much after this. So I'm just gonna say I might. I'm, I'm not gonna end it here, or I'm just gonna end this campaign, right? And just go to bed. Okay, go to bed.
right. Okay. There's the German Empire. Right after I've beaten the 1890 campaign. Next is the Balkan Wars. save i'm going to create the new one i'm not going to do it but i'm going to show you the broken news i've got in turkey or the ottoman empire actually now i think about it i could get one of these the other ones so now i think about it it's just the right time the broken news because it's basically three against one yeah look three against one again Anyway, oh my God, Jesus, I'm tired. Anyway, I'm going to start it, save it, and then go to bed. Good night, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow.